Hey guys, um, this is Lori. Uh, first time you guys get to see my face. There's a reason for that. It's because I uh, self-esteem issues don't want everyone to see my face. But um, and yeah, I was stuck in the rain today, so please excuse the messy hair. Anyway, um, so today uh, I'm doing a it's like a video confession, um, apology, and an update. Like, yeah. So. But the confession and apology part is it relates to my fish so that's why you guys want to see this video uh, you can the rest I guess you don't have to watch after this part so you don't have to watch this video at all I don't care um, oh that's my dog echo in the background breaking my fish tank stand further and then uh, you can see Sasha up there with Aaron and then we have another Oscar but she's all the way over here she doesn't like the current created by this tank so I'm off topic. Anyway, um, I decided to do this video with me and not showcasing the fish and you know, watching the fish as I talk um, because um, I have no idea where I'm going with this sentence. And, oh yeah, today is a big day. My mom is having surgery and my dog is in the window. She's having surgery to remove a tumor from her pancreas, so she had pancreatic cancer. Um, I found out a year ago, and what my advice to people that have a loved one with pancreatic cancer is don't look up the odds and statistics because that is a mental mind game you don't want to be playing with yourself. Um, I made that mistake, and I found out that my mom had like a uh, 6% chance of making it past 5 years and then like it's 80% fatality rate of a year. So we were told she had 6 months with us. Um, so yeah, I'm already a dramatic person and I get, you know, probably should be on meds for like depression or something. And then I have to deal with that, my, them being, them telling me that my mom, you know, I'm only 26 years old and they were saying my mom is probably has like six months to live and this is right around the holidays so um it's not right around the holidays she didn't tell us for a while by the way um so yeah don't look it up don't look at the statistics it's just gonna make you further depressed so because of um all that shit going on I just let my tanks get out of hand and I'm gonna admit that that's what the confession is and the apology is also to my fish because they all passed away due to my um, negligence and depression and um, yeah so I don't have any of my goldfish I lost all of my tropical fish all my betas they all all of them were gone yeah so um, I was doing like 80% water changes twice a week because you guys know my tanks were always over a stock and I did that because I didn't want like 10 fish tanks all around my house so I just did three fish tanks and so I compensated for that with um, lots and lots of cleaning and I think I went like a month without doing anything and they were all fine and the levels weren't too bad in the tanks but I uh, Get farther and farther and farther so you just imagine August of last year through February of this year is um maybe even it was through February I didn't do like any water changes at all and slowly but surely lost every single one of my fish and Cartman was my last one and I, that was he was like one of my first fish too. I had him for almost five years, and I can't say what it was that you know took them. It wasn't disease. I don't think it was just poor water quality. They just couldn't handle it anymore. Then I finally went and did a water change, and you know did what you're not supposed to do. If you have really horrible water quality, don't change all the water at once. Change it gradually. They have to get used to going from like 500 ppm of nitrates to zero that's quite a shock for them um so yeah that's what I did and 
you know, that I met my boyfriend and he really helped pull me out of my depression. So he's getting me back into the fish. He loves fish. He doesn't understand them like I do. Like I'm getting him into it. Um, that's why he has his beta that we're going to breed. We, I'm going to breed. Um, and I'll actually post another video of their babies soon because they had a couple. Like they're 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 young and dumb, so they didn't do very well. But um, yeah, so he helped me pull me out of that. And then we got the angelfish, and and these are two of these Oscars are his. Um, the little one, which you can't see, is his. He's in love with that one. I think she's stunted though. She doesn't look right. She got a huge head and just a small little body. There's something wrong with her. Um, but don't tell him I said that because you know that'll that'll destroy him. And then Aaron is his as well, the dark one. And then Sasha's mine. You know, because I wanted another professor. Um so and then the angel fish are doing really well. I lost one out of the blue. Like I left and then came back home and he was dead. I have no idea what happened to him, but um yeah. They're all, otherwise they're doing well. We have some plants in there that they're really liking and yeah. So I think I'm going to get back an angelfish, not angelfish, I'm sorry, goldfish. I'm gonna slowly work my way back into that. I have my tank in that I'm gonna do, which was my favorite tank, which was the 30 gallon. I'm trying to get some water sprite going. Um, so I can do that crazy jungle of water spreading in that I love so much. And I'm just trying to figure out where to put that tank because I have to move my other ones around. And then this one's got to go in the living room. I don't like this tank in here. It doesn't get the attention it needs in here. Yeah, so let's see if they can say hi. There they are. You guys are there. Okay. Um, woof. Anyway. This has been a long video. You guys probably aren't watching anymore. Oh, one thing I meant to touch on when um, I was talking about my mom having cancer, which is, you know, like me knowing someone that has cancer. If something does happen to my mother, you know, I'm not saying it will, but if something does, and I find out one of my friends, um, friends or family members or whatever, one of them has cancer. The worst thing I could do would go up to them and be like, my mom had cancer and she died. You know, she went through so much pain, blah, blah, blah. You don't do that, okay? Like, I was barely holding on. I was at work and everyone's giving me the sympathy face to begin with. They're like, oh, her mom's dying. Oh, that sucks. Let's not, let's not approach her the wrong way. And um, then I'd have my other friends that would come up to me and be like, I'm so sorry. My mom passed away from the same thing. You know, she was in so much pain and she passed away two weeks after being diagnosed. And I'm like, that's not shit I want to hear. Okay? Just tell me you understand my pain. You understand what I'm going through. You'll be a shoulder to cry on and that's it. Okay? So one of my friends, um, her mom or her mother-in-law was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And so what do I do? I do the right thing. I go up to her and I say, you know what? Fuck the odds. Okay, sorry for you people that um, are young. Sorry, my language. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say it again. Fuck the odds. My mom is killing all of them. You know, we, you know, don't, don't do any of that research. Don't look into any of that. Okay, you're just gonna bring yourself down. And yeah. You, I would, I'm positive. You have to be positive about it. And don't be negative, Nancy. That's the last thing someone needs is, yeah, my, my mom or my, my sister, or my dad, my uncle. Yeah, they had a horrifying two weeks, a horrifying month. They went through chemo and it sucked. And no, shut up. I don't want to hear that, okay? So, I think this video has been long enough. I will probably go. Uh, do actually some updates with the fish. Yeah. Get back into goldfish, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> You'll see more videos of my dogs, I'm sure. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask.